Hey guys, welcome to um, our tutorial. It's going to be a very short tutorial today since this is mostly a DIY project for our moon. But I'm going to start and I'm going to give you guys some tips to get you started. Um, things that I like to do that keep me successful. And I'm going to tell you a little about what colors I'm going to do. And then I'll put it on a uh, hyperlapse so you can watch me paint the entire thing and the video won't be too long. But again, this is really a DIY piece. You want to make it your own. Um, I'm going to put a wash on there first. And to do that, I'm going to take my white paint. I'm going to use a big brush or you can use your foam brush too. I'm going to just scoop, scoop out a little bit of that white and then I'm going to add some water to it. Oops, a little bit of water. So I'm just watering down the amount of paint on there. And so from there, what I can do is I can just lightly start pulling off some of this. And you can see if there are places where you want it to be a little more bright around the edge, add a little more paint to it. But by adding that water, you're gonna still be able to see your design. You won't go into those lines. These are really fun to cut and make on our laser. Um, they took quite a while, so take your time when you're painting this today. Enjoy. So a tip, which I should have done, um, to keep your stuff from sliding around, you can always wrap some masking or painter's tape on the back. And it's going to absorb into your wood. This is going to give us a nice prime coat and allow everything to just pop. There we go. So then, if there are again areas that you want to be a little bit more white, then you can just use a little bit more white paint. I kind of like the um, little bit of that wood coloring showing through. So I'm just taking a little bit of that white paint and touching it up. Get your edges too. And you'll notice as you go through the painting too, this white will keep absorbing in. Just keep it going back and retouching, and you'll notice on that video once I start painting too, it's gonna just absorb right in. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my small brush, and you can decide on your peonies what color you want. If you want them to be light purples, you can mix a little purple and white. If you want them pinks, you can make some pink and white. I'm gonna do a little bit of gold, I think. I'm just going to get my brush wet, right up, scoop out. I'm just going to use this wash plate, use some of that white in there. Make a light pink color. Whenever I mix paint, I make sure to wash my brush off too before painting ends. So that way you don't get too much right off the bat. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit on here. And you can start painting in whatever colors you want. I'm just going to have right to the line, or over. do some lighter colors on the inside and then work my way a little bit darker. So another color I'm going to be mixing using as I move forward is I'm going to be using the greens for the leaves but anywhere that you want some darker greens, and I'll show you a little bit now, you can take a little bit of your dark blue. So you can also take a little bit of green. Just so that will keep coming fresh. So you want to get a mixing plate for this. A little bit of blue. If you get the VIP kits too, you should have all these paints. Um, and you can use more. So if you don't want to um, use, you want to use some of your different colors that came in your different boxes, like the coral, anything like that, you'd be creative and use those too. So I can paint with the green and a little bit of that blue to get in some different darker shades of green. 
but as I said earlier, really have fun. Um, take your time. You are going to have to go through and keep adding more white. It is going to absorb in. Um, you can also go with your small brush and just a little bit of the paint. And you can start painting around any of those areas that you want really vibrant to. So with that, happy painting guys. Enjoy the rest of the video and I look forward to painting with you again.